This is a series of tutorials which form a basic introduction to X-Array. X-Array is a Python package that's built on top of NumPy but adds dimensions, coordinates and other attributes which means it's a powerful way to manipulate your data. In particular we're focused on using X-Array for analyzing climate data stored in NetCDF files. This series consists of notebooks and videos. There are eight in total. The first one is reading data and associated metadata from an NetCDF file into an X-Array dataset. The second is subsetting a dataset by time and space. Number three shows plotting an X-Array dataset. Number four, calculating metrics, such as mean and maximum. Number five is grouping and resampling in time. Number six is masking, using a mask operation on the data to only apply your calculations where you, they meet a certain criteria. Number seven is opening multiple files as a single data set, which can be very useful when data is split over multiple files. Number eight is saving data set to NetCDF. This is a Jupyter Notebook and there is a link in the description so that you can follow along. So an X-ray data set is a container for data and its associated metadata, including label coordinates. So the first step is to import the X-ray package. When opening a NetCDF file, the, the file metadata is read and stored as an X-ray data set object. In this case here, the file is accessed via an open DAP server so that it's universally accessible. The equivalent command if it was a NetCDF file and was saved in the same directory as the notebook is shown here but commented out. If the file was not in the same directory, you would have to prepend the directory path to locate it. So we'll execute that cell. So the metadata for this dataset is now stored in the variable ds. A more informative name could have been chosen, but ds is fast to type. So to examine the contents, it's sufficient just to put the variable in a cell and evaluate it, which is equivalent to the print statement in a Python program. As you can see, this has generated quite a bit of output. There are four sections to note, dimensions, coordinates, data variables, and attributes. First, dimensions give the size of each name dimension. Coordinates are special variables. This is a CF compliant data set, so it follows the climate and forecast conventions. And that means that in the NetCDF file, any variable that has got the same name as a dimension, such as time here and time, is assumed to be a coordinate. The same goes for latitude, lat, and longitude, long. All three of these have an asterisk beside them. And that's X-Array's way of telling you that this is a coordinate that is used in one or more variables. There's another coordinate called height. It's not used in any other variables. So it doesn't have the asterisk. It also doesn't have an associated dimension but there is some other metadata in the file that has defined this to be a coordinate, so that's where it's listed by XRA. The data variable section shows, as here, shows four entries, time bounds, lat bounds, lon bounds, and TAS, T-A-S. The first three are bounds variables. They're just giving more information about the extent of each of the dimensions for which they're bound. They're not so interesting. They're important for some things, but they're not so interesting for us. We're interested in looking at some, some data, in this case, TAS. So, how can we access TAS? Well, the open data set command only reads the metadata from the NetCDF file. It doesn't attempt to read any other data until there is an operation that requires it. 
The X-ray dataset object has a number of methods for accessing the coordinates, the attributes, and the data. The data variables are saved in a dict-like structure called data underscore vars. So if we evaluate that, you can see that looks very similar to the output above, which we shouldn't be surprised by, and list the four variables we saw before. It is possible to loop over the data variables just by looping over the data set itself, which returns each variable name in turn. So if we for var name in ds, print var name, and we get all we get those four variable names. An individual variable can be accessed using its name, either as a dict-like key, like so. And you can see now we have accessed TAS, and TAS is an X-ray data array. A data, an X-ray data set is made up of one or more data arrays which may share coordinates. So now we can see that TAS has its own metadata associated with it, standard name, long name, units, some other, other metadata. So we can see that this is the near surface air temperature and its units are Kelvin. For ease of use, X-ray also provides access to data variables as a Python attribute. So it's possible to just type ds.taz and you get the same output. That's just for ease of use. And you can use it, either method, whatever suits you.